Should you pick a niche when starting social media marketing? Now, I think this is a really interesting question because this is something that I really struggled with when I just got started. Um, like I'd done the Ty Lopez social media course and like one of the very first modules, he actually said like pick a niche, pick an industry. And I thought to myself, okay, what industry am I knowledgeable about? That's the fitness industry, you know, that is uh, something that I've uh, I've been in and part of. So I thought, okay, the fitness industry is going to be my niche, my industry. I thought, well, you know, there's so many other industries out there that are interesting or that I'd like to do. A lot of YouTubers at the time that I was following were doing uh, car dealerships and working with car companies, which is something I'd love to do. I'd love to have like a car dealership as a client. And thought to myself, well, there's so many more industries that are interesting or like, I'd love to have like a coffee client, like have a coffee company as a client. You know, there's, there's so many different companies, clients, businesses uh, that I'd like to work with. So I really struggled with this question, like we're picking a niche for myself. And like at the time when I just got started, I got coaching from the side, I asked a lot of people for advice. And the people I asked, they didn't really have an industry or a niche. They just looked at companies or businesses that, I'd like, that they would like to work with that sort of like fitted their brand, their personal brand or their, uh, their hobbies, their passion and they just work with them and so after I sort of like understood what they were saying I left the industry, I left the niche picking part of it and just focused on getting clients and now I've just completely changed my approach I don't really look at the industry because I think that um, like content creation, Facebook marketing, Facebook um, like management, uh, social media advertising, stuff like that it's all sort of the same thing. It doesn't really matter what industry you're in. Obviously, like certain, um, like certain campaigns, certain uh, tips and tricks only work for certain industries. But other than that, like I think 85% of marketing is the same. You know, it, it's 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 it doesn't really change if you're in the car industry or if you're in the fitness industry, other than like a few little tactics. So what I focus on now is um do i have a click with the owner like am i on the same wavelength with the owner like um for example i've worked with or i've been in contact with um, a fitness company that they wanted me to do content creation for them and the owner was an absolute prick like he, he he was someone that was just not on my wavelength at all he saw my, he constantly said i was uh, a cost rather than an investment like he saw me as a cost like he could tell he didn't really want social media at all and it just didn't work out. And on the other hand, like uh, for a while I've worked with a high-end um, like Apple cable company, which is something completely different, so I've never expected to be in like that industry. But the owner is like we're on the, the we're on the same terms, you're like we, we, we have a laugh, we're, we're constantly in contact. I'll go the extra mile for him as well, like I do content creation for his company as well. Um, like even though he, we, we started working together just for Facebook ads and uh, the management part, like you know we just we, we help each other out. Uh, we're constantly in contact and we're just we're. It, it's it's not even like I'm talking to a client. You know it's, we we sort of like become mates in the process, and I think that that's the most important thing. I think you need to be you need to have a click with the owner. You know it doesn't need you don't need to be it doesn't need to be in a situation where like. Um, like you're the employee, like you're the employee, and the owner's like the, you know, like the someone you need to look up to. I, I feel like if you sort of like on the same level as the employer or as the client, uh, and you sort of, you know, you're on good terms, you know, you, you, you can talk informally. Like once you've got that click, I think you should go for it and not just say no because it's not in your industry. I think picking a niche is, like, I think it's good to specialize in a certain niche. I definitely do. But I think that you shouldn't turn down clients just because they're not in your niche. Like it, it, in the end, it's just about providing value. You know, it's it's marketing 101. It doesn't need to be all this. Now people make it out to be so much more difficult than it actually is. You know, Facebook marketing, Facebook ads, uh, social media management. Once you understand those concepts, you can apply it to every single industry. Uh, guys, hope you got something out of this video. Like this video if you did. Also, leave a comment down below of like, with, with questions that you want me to answer either in a video or through Instagram DM. Also, follow me on Instagram because I'm quite active there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Gotta do what I gotta do.